Hi right, guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome to 3306. This is where I take a look at the news and happenings in and around Elite Dangerous. This week, Frontier introduce Twitch Drops, offering some new cosmetics. The CM team begin a regular AMA series and HCS voice packs are offering a free pack. Starting today, Frontier are introducing Twitch Drops on selected Elite Dangerous live streams. Twitch Drops are a way for live stream viewers to earn rewards simply by tuning in and watching a live stream. These are the current rewards. Uh, basically for the live stream that was today, uh, you could watch 15 minutes of a live stream for the vibrant purple paint jobs, 30 minutes for a SRV and fighter paint job, and one hour gained the purple weapon and engine colours. Now once you reach the target time, the drop will be added to your Twitch account. This can then be later redeemed by linking your Twitch account to your Frontier account. For the full set of details and instructions on how to do this, do check out the link in the video description. Frontier tested this out today for the first time on their Twitch livestream and actually had very, very high viewer numbers and very close to 10,000 active viewers. Now, if you actually missed this, don't worry about it. They will be available on future live streams, so do keep an eye out. Starting tomorrow, Frontier will begin a regular new AMA series on the official forums. Here, players and forum users will be able to ask Frontier any questions related to Elite. A community manager will be on hand to answer as many of these questions as they can. Now, if you want to get involved with this, the relevant forum thread, which is linked below, will be open for questions from 1500 UTC every Wednesday. During this period, Frontier will be answering the questions that are posted. Whilst they've said they might not be able to directly answer each and every question, it's clear that they want to make a very good attempt of this. So it seems very likely that many of the questions will be aimed at upcoming updates, such as the Odyssey release. I also suspect that many people will want to know about the Pulse Wave Analyzer, which has been broken for, what, three months now and still hasn't been fixed and no sign of it being fixed anytime soon. Those are just a few of the questions that are likely to be answered, and I suspect that the Odyssey questions in particular won't get specific answers. But it's still a very good opportunity to jump in there and ask Frontier anything that you actually want to know about. I know that I'll be taking a look. Now, like I say, the forum thread is linked in the video description, so do be sure to check it out. The past few days have been extremely busy for Elite Dangerous. The game is currently available for free on the Epic Games Store, so if you want a copy and haven't picked it up yet, do go check it out. It's available for free until the 26th of November. So, as you may expect, a lot of people picked up the game, and many have been trying it out for the first time. Whilst Frontier don't reveal their player stats, we can get a little bit of an idea of how active things have been by looking in-game. On the 22nd of November then, 193,000 player ships travelled through the Dromi star system. Yeah, that's certainly a lot. So, I for one am really hoping that many of these players actually stick around. Now, talking of new players, there's a massive tip right here for all of you. Elite Dangerous works best when used with external third-party tools. At this point, there's pretty much a tool for everything, from helping you build a ship to tracking market data to external galaxy maps. Reddit user Elite Fan Program has put together a handy chart detailing all of these tools, and you can find this linked in the video description. If you've ever wanted to talk directly to your spaceship, and not only that, but have it respond to your commands, then you may want to check out HCS Voice Packs. Using the third-party program Voice Attack, the voice packs allow you to directly control your ship through voice commands. They also come with voice-acted responses. So over the years, HCS have signed up some of the most recognisable names in sci-fi, which includes William Shatner and Brent Spiner, among many others. This week, one of the packs performed by Kate Russell is available for free. Check out the link in the video description in order to claim your voice pack. Operation Ida, one of the major player groups behind getting damaged space stations back online after being attacked, has likely recently been active again due to more stations being damaged. Now, recently, Ida member Astro Snufkin took to making an epic journey around the galaxy. He plotted a very special route that would trace the Operation Ida logo on the galactic map. Using some external tools to track his progress, you can see his journey in action. The entire trip took 31,081 jumps. That's certainly a lot of jumping. 
but it's hard to argue with the result, which is actually pretty neat. So, congratulations to Astro Snuffkin for the achievement. That then brings us to an end of this episode of 3306. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.